Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Happy Monday. I'm Angel and this is Charlotte. Charlotte is one of my newest babies. I just got through um, Chastity. Uh, Chastity Dolls is her YouTube channel and this was a baby she had in her collection and I was going to have her do a custom and then she decided to let this one go. So I'm just so happy and I love this baby. I really do. I just, another one I can't put down. I've been enjoying her so much. And as you see, she's still in the onesie because I love to just look at all of her art. She's just phenomenal. Chastity did a fantastic job on her. So we're going to get her change into a cute outfit today. This is her lovey now. It's a little mouse. I figured it'd be perfect because she is a mouse. She's a tiny baby. She really is, but still a good size baby. Not too, too tiny, but she's just petite. And that's what I love about her. She is um, based off the Charlotte. Um... Uh, I think it's, is it the, I'll put up the information, but she is based off of Charlotte and this is the newborn and then they have the toddler one of Charlotte. But yes, yeah, it's such a beautiful baby. She did very light painted red hair on her, the eyebrows very lightly and then rooted the lashes. She's stunning. I did pierce her ears. I love my girls to have ear, you know, pierced ears and just her art is phenomenal. Chastity, you did such a good job if you're watching this. I love this little baby. I do. I've spent 90% now staring at her instead of the camera. Sorry about that, guys, but I do. I love her so much. All right. While she's sitting there being so good and quiet and sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and read God's word. Uh, we are on May 6th, and it's called Receive Your People, Lord. Will you not receive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Psalms uh, 85.6. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God, Matthew 5, 9. And the desire for peace is universal, but simply telling people to stop fighting and love one another isn't the solution for the tension, discord, or violence that exists around the globe. Deployments and leaders have tried to do this for centuries, yet world history is filled with wars and conflict. The problem lies within the human heart. By nature, we are selfish and greedy. Even leaders aren't exempt from their sins. As the Bible says, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? James 4.1 Even when we want peace, it often eludes us because of our greed and anger of jealousy or jealousy. Only God can change the human heart, and that is why our greatest need is spiritual renewal. Pray today for our world and its leaders and pray as well for the spiritual renewal in our time. Amen to that, you guys. You know, that's we need to be constantly praying for that because we do live in a hard world. A you know, and, and it's not to blame anybody. We all, you know, have that quick to anger, you know what I mean? Really quick to anger. And it says in the Bible, be slow to speak, slow to anger. Uh, we are supposed to do that. But of course we do. We have that and just all the bad things going on in the world. But we can pray for that. We can pray for our world world, and our leaders to lead in a much better way, you know, by praying to God. Um, so that's why it says, re, um, revive your people, Lord. So that's what we're praying for. Revive the people, Lord, our leaders, people that are leading our country and all that. We need to ask, you know, for prayer, for them to be leading in the right direction. We also need to pray for ourselves and other people that our anger and our walk and our ways and our decisions are done all through, you know, asking God for that help. You know, God, help me to be better. I mean, because being human flesh, we fall short, we get angry, we get mad and so quick to, you know, blurt out things and stuff like that because we're human. But we can pray and strive each day to be better and to hold thy tongue, to, you know, think before we speak, all of that type of thing. Um, be asking God for that. And we do. We definitely need to be praying for our world constantly, praying for our leaders because they're leading, you know, so many of them lead in the wrong direction because they're not being led by God. So that's why we need to pray for that. And definitely nothing too big for God. He can definitely, you know, help that situation and definitely uh, change things for sure. But he does give all of us a free will. So we have to remember that. That's why he's asking us to pray, pray, pray. And we've been talking a lot on prayer. Uh, the wisdom for today's father, teach us to pray in advance, or I mean, in accordance with your will. Again, everything we pray is in God's will. Let your will be done as we're praying. So when it says that, in accordance of his will. And not our fleshly desires, because we are flesh. We don't know the way God knows. So in his will. Please give us insight as to how or as 
to how, wait, I'm sorry, <laughs> that ring light, please give us insight as to how to pray for our country's leaders so that they can lead with humble hearts, godly wisdom, and the boldness to stand for what you say is right and true, for what God says is right and true. So we need to pray for them to have godly hearts, uh, I mean, um, humble hearts, godly wisdom, and the boldness to stand for what you say is right and wrong, for them right and true. So they need you know, we need to be praying for the leaders so that they will understand and do what God is asking of them. So they lead us in the right direction, you know, lead us because they are our leaders, you know, our, our governors, our, um, our, uh, you know, just, just got a little tongue tied here, our presidents, just people that lead our countries. We do need to ask God for prayer for them. We need to be praying for our leaders and our president and all of that to lead us in the right direction, you know, so that they're leading us in a godly way. Whatever we do in our life, we always have to make God that number one and be letting him lead us in our lives. And um, I would hope, you know, uh, anybody out there that isn't walking with God, doesn't know God, would know if I asked you right now, if you died today, do you know where you would go? I hope that you would um, not answer, I don't, um, but you can know. You can get right with God. I hope that you guys stick around and listen to the readings. I know a lot of you guys do. But if it's something you don't like and you want to skip over, well, God gives you free will. This is not... Um, live. You don't have to watch this part. You can skip over it, but I would hope you would stay and listen um, and get some wisdom from it. It is important for all of us to be teaching and talking about God in our videos to help steer other people to the Lord. It is our job. Us Christians, us people with our salvation need to be leading others to Lord, you know, to the Lord. It's important. We can't just hide that. We need to be that shiny light for Christ and, and talk about God and read his word and help steer other people in that direction. But it also helps ourself as we're reading that. It's going to help ourself as well. And people will get to see that Christianity, the, that humble heart you have, that salvation you have in your heart if you are walking right. But we will make mistakes. Let's start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual. We'll read the Holy Bible. We'll study, honor, obey, and live by it because it's so important that, you know, if you're just reading it but not following what it, it says for us, what good does it do, right? God won't even want you to even pick it up. I mean, he still wants you to pick it up. But he would hope that you would follow what his word is asking. It's a love story. 66 books of love and, you know, what God is asking of us and what we're supposed to do and so much wisdom and knowledge. And um, just, you know, you got the wisdom book in, in Proverbs, just giving you that wisdom and knowledge that we need to know through his word and how to live and how without that death of Christ, every one of us were bound for hell. And we still should be bound for hell, right? We don't deserve heaven. None of us do. But God didn't think that. God thinks that we are because we're his children. So if we believe that he died, live our life right, you know, and read his word and follow it and all of that, we can know positively we have a place in heaven. Because John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his son, and that his only son, and that who believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Eternal life means when you leave this earth, you know, you get to live on forever in heaven. This is just our shell that carries us, but our soul will live on forever in heaven. And you can know that 100%. Sure, we're going to be judged and, and, and you know, we got to answer to God for the things we do wrong. But we can know that heaven is ours. Positively not worried about eternal death, which is in hell with Satan forever burning. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And if you feel that in your heart and you believe that, if you don't know, well, then something isn't right. You need to get right and know 100% where you're going and you can know that. I hope this helped you guys out today, and now I'm excited to get on to this beautiful little, uh, this little <laughs> mouse. I was trying to think of the word, her little mouse. She is, I reweighted her just a little bit, um, because Chastity did fill her more for me. I asked her to weight her pretty good, the weight. So I kept the weight, but I took some of the, um, the stuffing out just so that her head now can go back more like a newborn. I think it's really good. She did a great job weighting her. I didn't want to get rid of her weight. But as you see, now she does that, that lay more. And even Chastity said it wasn't like that before. You had asked me to add more, so she did. So Chastity's very good at weighting babies. It was just a little bit in the head, a little bit much. And I think she, um, she probably even thought about that like after. Um, but she weights babies very well. And I kept the weight. I didn't get rid of that weight. I kept the weight because it's really good. I love her weight. I think she's like a little over six pounds, but look at that beautiful flappy head now. I love babies to have that flappy head in that scrunch. But no, like I said, she did a wonderful job. All I did was just take some of the stuffing out. Just the stuffing. Look at those cute little tootsies. All right, we're going to get Charlotte over and change her in a really cute outfit.
All right, everyone, we're back here with Charlotte. Make sure that we are recording, yes. All right, beautiful little Charlotte is gonna go into a vintage dress. This is one of the pieces I got. Uh, my husband had found a uh, basket full of stuff just out in the yard and said, um, free. So he grabbed it for me and I scored. He couldn't even tell what was in there, but it was all vintage stuff. So she's gonna go in this little white dress here that's got embroidered roses. It's kind of lacy underneath, like a sheer underneath. And then it's got um, embroidered roses with vines going all the way around to the back of the dress. It's got three buttons that go down. And then it's all lacy as well. It's just white. It's got the ruffled sleeves here. And then I'm going to pair it with just a little pair of white bloomers, of course. Didn't come with that because it's vintage. And the brand of it is Alexis is the brand, but you can tell this is another vintage, beautiful little dress, and I figured she's gonna look gorgeous in this. And I'm gonna pair it and pull out the pink with this headband for her, the pink, and then we're also gonna put, um, I was gonna do a little pink shoes, I had a pair of little pink shoes, but I didn't like the pink, it didn't match. It was kind of a purpley pink, so we'll wait till another day. But we're gonna do these. I had two pairs of these, so we're gonna do these little lace shoes. I had done a pair on one of the other babies, Laura, I had done it on her, not Laura, but the Laura sculpt, my Elizabeth. But I'm going to do a pair on her. They're going to work perfect on her because these are newborn size. So we're going to go ahead and do that for Charlotte today. That's what she's wearing. And like I said, I just had her in the onesie because I was just enjoying all of her art. She is just stunning. Uh, Chastity does really good work. It's very subtle, but very noticeable art. That's what I love. Just, you know, just perfect. And I love everything about her. Look at that beautiful painted hair. It's just so softly done as it goes around. It gets a little bit darker. Look at that perfect swirl. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Her work is phenomenal. Like I said, she just does it as um, more of a hobby. But I was so glad that I could get my hands on Charlotte. And she's got her little ears pierced. She's got little tiny studs in. But yeah, she's gorgeous. And you can see subtle but noticeable art. Just so pretty and those beautiful little feet she's so petite charlotte is a very petite little little baby but we're gonna go ahead and just put this right over her onesie and we're gonna keep her um you know uh well no not barefoot that's right she's not doing sandals she's doing those ones so her feet will be covered but like i said i just love to enjoy her art so in that little dress i'm gonna be able to enjoy that and i'm gonna keep her in the little onesie here it's a few little pieces on her outfit it came off that little dress. I was kind of just nipping off some stuff, being an old dress. I was nipping some things off, and I think it it uh, fell on her little onesie. <laughs> but I think this is going to be so cute on her. It might be a tad big on her, but I still think it's going to be so pretty. And I just love vintage. Who doesn't love vintage little outfits? Especially, the you know, the way they did them back then are just so girly, you know? So let's turn Charlotte over let you guys enjoy her cute sweet little face while I button the back of this but yeah I, I figured this would fit her good because even though she's petite and this is I don't even know what size this was what size did it say it said like up to uh, 13 pounds I think and of course she's not 13 pounds but these babies you know weighted a certain way and everything can fit in a little bit larger and we and she had done a little bit larger body on Charlotte because uh, this was hers and I bought her out of her collection I adopted her so yeah I just I'm seeing that this is going to fit Charlotte perfectly wow yeah very very good fits her very good oh so precious Charlotte yes oh my gosh you're so girly Yes, you are so girly. Isn't that precious, you guys? And then I can still enjoy her art and have her in this pretty little dress because she's so petite and, like I said, just so girly. And with that red hair, I figured this would be pretty with the pink and the bow. Oh, my goodness, Charlotte. Oh, she's just a baby doll. No pun intended, right? <laughs> she is a doll baby that we call her real kids that, too. But it just sounded funny when I went to say it. I said she's just... um you know, a baby doll or whatever, and it was funny because she is. <laughs> We're going to do the sweet little shoes with it because they're white and they've got the lace, which will match. And like I said, I was going to do the pink to go with the bow, but the pink was just a little bit off, but they're going to be perfect, and Charlotte will be the only one that can wear those shoes because they're even a little bit smaller than these. These are a tad, um, not 
big on her because I can tie them off, but just a tad big where the other ones fit her feet perfectly. So I'll be able to use those just for her. She'll be the only one that'll be able to wear those. But oh my goodness, look at this little beautiful <laughs> baby. Oh, Charlotte, you are so cute. Oh my goodness, isn't she beautiful, you guys? That red hair and the pink and the white vintage dress. Aw, she is just a sweet, sweet little baby girl. Look at her. Oh my goodness, look at how adorable those little shoes are on her. So sweet. Yes, she is very, very sweet. Yes, you are, girl. And then she's got the little bloomers underneath. But oh my goodness. My goodness, you are a doll baby. <laughs> yes, you are. Beautiful little girl. And then, of course, she'll have the pink uh, nook, which will stay nice with the outfit. And then her little mouse that is pink and white, her lovey. So, but there she is, you guys. Hope she's set up right. Just adorable. Isn't she sweet in that? Oh, I love vintage. I really do, and I love the way she looks. She's just adorable. Yes, you are. I really love this baby. Um, Chastity, I really do. Thank you so much for letting me adopt her. I've enjoyed her so much. I couldn't even get her out of that onesie. I just love enjoying her art, but now I can still enjoy it as her arms are still exposed and her beautiful little legs. So I can enjoy that with her. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Charlotte and her vintage little beautiful dress and getting to see her first changing since I adopted her. She's going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah! She loves God and mommy and daddy, all of her aunts, uncles, grandmas and grandpas, and all of her little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most. Always remember that, you guys, and, and be doing what the word asks us to do and be honoring God as much as we can. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all make mistakes. I by far am not a perfect Christian. I make mistakes, but we just need to pray for others and we need to just be honoring his word and, uh, you know, just trying to follow God, you know, as honest as we can and the best that we can. And when we feel that we're falling, we need to pick ourselves back up. And the best way to do that, like I say, is always spending time with God as much as you can, giving most of your, you know, the big majority of your life to God, starting the day, going through the day, ending the day as much as you can with God. We serve a jealous God and he wants to hear from us, but we're his children. Why wouldn't he? We want to hear from our kids. So God wants to hear from us. All right, I'm going to get some beautiful photos of Charlotte. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care and God bless.